Hey everybody, welcome back to another lesson and we're kind of getting towards the end of the course now but there's a couple of other subjects that we just need to talk about and one of those which we're going to talk about in this video is micro corrections. So we've covered carbohydrate ratios, we've covered um, uh, correction ratios and put it all together and essentially giving you the tools hopefully to help you get a structured way of managing your type 1 diabetes. Now, microcorrections are those additional extra little bits of insulin that you might add in throughout the day just to help take the edge off particular high glucose levels. Or if you see in the trend um, that you're not too happy with, just um, essentially nudging it in the direction that you want it to go. So it's kind of like if you're driving a car, obviously you're constantly correcting the course whilst you're going. This is kind of the equivalent of this. Now, just as a disclaimer, this isn't usually something that I talk to with my patients in clinic about. Um, but there's a lot of patients I speak to, particularly ones that are using the continuous glucose technology that do this and achieve really good glucose results. So if the people are doing it who actually are on the ground managing their diabetes, I'd be a bit negligent if I didn't at least speak to you about it. So the principle goes something like this. So let's say you've got your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner so you have breakfast and the glucose and let's just put some um, values in here uh, 15 so let's just say that you want to stay below 10 so you have your breakfast the glucose starts to rise and it gets to this point here and let's say you've given your insulin alongside it so because you have the luxury with the continuous glucose monitors to either just see your glucose levels or test it here I mean you could do a blood test as well um, but you do a test here and you know for you, because you've established your patterns, that that's not gonna be enough. So rather than give a, weight, a whopping great dose of say six units, you just add in one or two units just to help bring that down a little bit. So it just takes the edge off and just gets you back into where you wanna be, which might be your sort of target level. You can see that's about five-ish there, it's just to highlight the thing. So we're adding about one to two units here. I mean, I must admit my preferred method is still to see how the initial insulin dose works out for you and then go back to those original um, strategies we spoke about in terms of the type of food that you're eating, the timing of the insulin. This doesn't replace that. This is kind of like a catch-up strategy which can go wrong if you get it wrong. Because remember, every time you add an extra insulin, you're resetting the clock of that four and a half hours. Um, so it can cause hypos. But like I say, some people use this strategy and it works quite well. We've also talked about micro corrections around exercise, particularly that high intensity exercise, and also of alcohol if the um, drink has carbohydrate containing food. So there is a place. Um, so absolutely, this can be used if you know what you're doing. And importantly, you've established the patterns um, within the context of your own diabetes that you know when you've misjudged it. Because if every time you eat, usually, let's just get a different color here, you get a profile that looks like this actually, instead, and then you get this profile, you know for you that you've misjudged it. So then a couple of extra units will just help you get back, because otherwise you might only be getting back to say here, which for you isn't ideal although 10 in the grand scheme of things is actually still pretty good. But for, you, for that individual, they might want to get it back to sort of between five and 10, maybe around six, which is nice for them. So really the first thing before putting in micro corrections is make sure you know your patterns. Once you know that, then you'll have a good understanding of when you've overdone it and or underdone it in that case for insulin, overdone it in terms of the carbohydrate or maybe you've miscalculated the carbohydrates. And we're not talking about big doses here. We're talking about one or two units just to offset those rises when you know there's a problem. So that's kind of the principles of micro corrections. But like I say, it doesn't replace the foundations of getting the right insulin in the first place, um, the timing of insulin and the type of food that you're eating. So remember those principles. And you know, this is kind of the next, next step in a way of little strategies that you can use. So I just thought I'd mention it. Um, and I think that'll probably cover it actually. So we'll leave it there and we will move on to the next video and I will see you there.